Hello, my couture crafters. Pretend like you can't see all the junk <laughs> that is circling around my area. This is all about my new girlfriend right here, Aisha. You know, maybe I should just call this album Aisha. I don't know. It needs a name. Haven't figured that out yet. Anyway, long story short, last year around this time, I had a client buy an album from me. I shipped it to them via UPS and it was damaged in shipping. I knew, I just had a feeling it wasn't so horrible that she couldn't keep it or salvage it or anything like that, but it just never sat right with me that her album was damaged. So I told her, Hey, I'm getting ready to do another album. I've got to do a prototype. I've got to test it first. Would you like the prototype? And she said, yeah. And I told her, you know, even though it's a prototype, I think it's going to be dope. I think it's going to have some cool elements to it. She was like, yeah, I want it. She said, I'd like to give it to my niece. Her niece's name is Aisha. And she said, I'd like to give it to her for her birthday for Christmas. She's turning 16. I said, what would you like the theme or color to be? She says, I don't know. She likes makeup. That's when I knew that this was meant to be I was supposed to do this because I am a makeup girl for sure so the theme of this is all about makeup the papers I used are all from Etsy and the jewel box Michael's um, cardstock to Michael's and Joanne's cardstock actually the album is built out of Joanne's um, 110 12 by 12 cardstock Michael's currently doesn't sell cardstock in that size that weight no chipboard was used in this album because when you guys make albums, you guys say, hey, I don't have chipboard and all that. It's just, you know, why? I can figure out how to do things without chipboard. So no chipboard was used. I'm actually going to do the tutorial on my album when I make it eventually. Um, it's coming. It's not up yet, but I've got all the dimensions and stuff written down like a big girl. So yay. Moving on. This is the front. I used a vinyl. I cut it out with my Cricut. I use basically it's a big sticker for like kind of it kind of is a big sticker. Got this image from Etsy. I just typed in makeup SVGs and this one came up and I thought this is perfect. And I plugged her name in the center and I love the way this came out. Again, paper lines from Etsy. I'll link them below. Here is another paper line. It's just a ton of different paper lines. This is the side. This is the back. This is the other side. And this is the top here. Love this. And this is the bottom. She's a cutie patootie. This album measures nine by 11 this way it is a folio style album sort of however it does have a it has a um album installed into the folio so or a faux album I should say again if you purchase the same papers that I did yours will come out looking different my printer was not communicating with my computer initially properly so everything came out in sepia tones I just made it work it's not what I was going for originally but hey it works so don't think that yours will look just like this this paper printed out like velvet it just makes me want to touch it I think this one is my favorite but this one makes me want to pet it so you open it magnet closure on the outside of the album also on the inside let me see if I can get that when you open it you get that first flap there and then you get this flap here which folds out perfect I used placements um, stamps from the crafty chateau so a placement stamp would be this right here what would make this beautiful handmade album more beautiful a photo here so I'm just giving suggestions of where you can put photos up there it says something is missing a photo here she has a ton of cute ones they're themed for Christmas Halloween whatever again that's the crafty chateau and now I feel like I'm gonna have to link her down below too so let's take a look at this again this is a faux mini album that is installed into the folio and when you open it here, you can tuck a picture right here. It says tuck photo here. 
Then here is where we start with our pages of our album. So you open this. And over here you have a thing that says replace, remove and replace with photo. I like that because it tells you to take that off. And then a cutout by the jewel box, edges laid for the gods. Again, these are various um, papers from the lines that she dropped this year. I'm sure she'll have tons more beautiful ones coming up for the upcoming year. This is our first cool page. You can stick pictures back here. And they stop. There's a stopper right there, and you can do different levels to this. It's just kind of cool, something different. And then our next page is a pop-up page. That's pretty cool, I think. And you can put your pictures there, however you'd like. And then we close this bad boy up like this and this. And we move on to the next page. Next page, I kept it pretty simple since that one has so much dimension on it. For the next one I do, I might increase my gusset size so that I can do more. All of these pages, these signature pages, have pockets in them. So I just threw some cutouts in there. You can certainly journal on these, put photos on these. This one I turned into a card. These look really cool. I love black paper with gel pens written on them. So they can journal there or put photos in there whatever they want to do this one is a very subdued page again I used a ton of different lines and they all kind of work together because they're all the same theme I think and so this is kind of cool you can place a two by three photo there you can put a photo here I just like it it's kind of just subdued this is a double belly band here and I just it stopped by her um, her head <laughs> And you can stick pictures behind there and they'll be held with tension. Oh, again, we've got another nail polish and another one where you can place photos here or whatever you want to do. These are not adhered on permanently. They're adhered on with removable adhesive. So again, just suggestions. They can be pulled right off. Another page, beautiful. You guys know I'm all about pictures. I am not, <laughs> I like paper. I mean, I'm not about pictures, I'm about paper. So I don't like to cover them up <laughs> with pictures. I just wanna see the pretty, pretty papers. I know that's crazy for somebody who makes photo albums, but I like to display paper. What can I say? Even though this photo album folio probably can hold about 100, maybe 150 pictures, depending upon how you do it, where you put them, slide them in the pockets, blah 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 you guys have seen this before this was in my last um, album that I made last year the the fall album and it's the exact same thing I literally ripped it out of one of my albums that I didn't finish and plopped it right here so it is a waterfall and you just pull it and you can display your pictures here and you can open this here another place to put that and then you pull this down and push it back up and there you go and that is section A or section 1 and again it is a faux album that is built right into my folio now let's go to section 3 that's this guy right here. You guys know I love when a box is built into an album. This guy here is what started all the madness. I knew I wanted to have this box and I knew I wanted this box to be this size because it's got makeup brushes in there. Are these makeup brushes going to her? Mm -mm, they're mine. So let me just take them out right now. I just wanted to showcase auntie what I would put in here. I'm actually going to fill it up with more cutouts and things from Erica's line. Um, it's a beautifully lined box and I'm going to put all these goodies in so that she can decorate her album however she wants to. I think that's one of the cool things about having an album is that you can decorate it however you would like. So I don't put too, too many decorations in it. We'll see what happens when I do my Disney album. Okay, now let's get to 
section B. You open this here, little flip down. This guy here is probably the largest picture that you can put there and that will hold a five by seven. Okay. Then we're going to, you can place a three by five photo here. This lifts up like this. This goes over. This goes over. Just a typical waterfall, not an interactive one. And then, actually, let's turn this light off here. And let's move this down like this. And we'll open her like this. So yes, I installed a video player into the album. You can do pictures here. You can put your wedding um, video here. And yes, it has sound. You can control it by these here. You can pause it, whatever you want to do. So again, um, <laughs> there's an actual video player that is totally functional that has been installed into this album. You can plug it in. It comes with a plug. Plug it in. Use your computer just to download it. It'll hold, I think, 193 megabytes. Um, this is a five minute video and I want to say mine compressed down to like 63 megabytes. So it was nice and easy. I just pulled this off of YouTube. I think I'm going to try to add this video behind it so that she'll know what to do with her album when she gets it. Or I mean, the possibilities are endless. I know that people think people want to sit down and look at all their pictures and stuff, but with the new age now and with technology changing, I think this is cool to incorporate. And it's not super expensive to get these video players. The only place that I have seen them is through Paper Phenomenon. Um, I couldn't find these anyplace else. Not this size. There's a smaller version. I have the medium size and I like it. It's perfect. It installs perfectly. I actually installed this one with Velcro so it actually comes out. Whenever you open it, it will start over again. See? It's starting over. You guys, I am too thrilled with this album. I think it is such a hybrid. It has classic just going through photos. It has pages. It has folio styles to it. It has a box in it. I don't think there's anything else I can put in this album. I'm super excited to do it specifically for me. Um, when I do mine is when I will do the tutorial for it and I am super excited about it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to try to link everything down below my papers, the stamps and the place to buy this folio. I'm not the folio, the uh, video recorder so you guys can install your own. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me. I guess I'll show you how to just fold this little guy up. And bam, there she is. Again, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, this was a combination of just things that I've seen recently um, and designed and put together by me. So again, questions, drop them down. Comments, drop them down. I am super active on Instagram and I will talk with you guys later. Bye-bye.